Kalajais. I am Sam, for mechanical student from LJ University. Today I will explain you about gearless power transmission. You must be thinking, what is gearless power transmission? So first of all, we have to understand what is gear, gear train, and its merits and demerits. So basically, gear is one type of rotation machine parts having a cut tooth which mess with another tooth part to transmit torque. Gear gears can be changed speed, torque and power source. We can speed and torque increase or decrease by gear ratio. What is gear ratio? The ratio of the number of rotation of driver gear to, to the number of rotation of driven gear. For example, one jam two means one rotation of the driver gear and two rotation of the driven gear. It means the speed is increased two times and the torque is decreased two times. You get double speed but half of the torque. Many types of gears are available in market and all gears are working principle are same. Spur gear, helical gear, double helical gear, internal gear, rack and pinion gear, bevel gear, screw gear, metal gear and spiral bevel gear. Now we have to understand what is the gear train and what's the purpose of using gear train. Gear train is mechanical system formed by the combination of two or more gears. Mount on rotating shaft to transmit torque or power. First is the main purpose of the gear train is to change torque or speed. Second is to connect gear where a large center distance is required. Third is to obtain desired direction of the motion driven gear, clockwise or anti-clockwise. Types of gear train. First, simple gear train. Second, compound gear train. Third, reverter gear train. And fourth, epicyclic gear train. of the gear they are used for transmitting motion over small center distance of shaft they are used for large reduction speed and for transmission of torque they are used for positive drive so its velocity ratio remain constant disadvantage of the gear they are not suitable for transmitting motion over a large distance gear operation is so noisy and the biggest problem is that the cost of making it is very high and it also take a lot of time to make it. This problem can be solved through gearless power transmit. My project basically used to many place of like RPM release, any 98 direction, angular power transmit, high torque can be produced. Almost we replace belt pulley system and also gear can be replaced like long distance to power transmit at any angular power transmit it costs very high if we are using gear bevel gear and simple gear train i am not saying that we should get out of gear 100% in system gear is so good but the place where we can replace gearless power transmission then if we don't use gear the both time and cost will be saved the application is mainly used for industries, mechanical industries, automobile industries. So let's understand how gearless power transmission work. In my project, I use one motor to transmit power, two wheel used for power transmit and connecting rod. I use universal joint in a connecting rod, but I suggest you, you can use L type joint, elbow joint to power transmit at 90 angular any direction. This type of mechanism we can mostly replace bevel gear and gear train. 
use it to transmit power for long distance and 90 mv and it will not slip if rotate high speed this elbow mechanism we can also make to compact side this disadvantage of the gear the gearless power transmission is that we can not increase velocity ratio